hello everyone and welcome to another video in this video guys we are going to be making some yummy cheesy nachos so let's begin so guys for this recipe we're going to need some fresh herbs you're going to need an onion some cilantro garlic and a tomato so guys i am breaking out the food processor this is going to make the chopping process a lot easier so in here we have our onion cilantro and garlic and I am not going to clean out the food processor. I'm going to leave those herbs down in there. But I'm going to dice my tomatoes separate. And that is because I'm going to use the green seasoning in the meat and the tomatoes in the guacamole. So guys, we added our green seasoning into our turkey meat. So this is one pound of turkey meat. And I added in those fresh herbs. And I'm going to season up our turkey meat ground turkey with some garlic powder and that's about a tablespoon of garlic powder I'm going to do a tablespoon of onion powder and there I'm going to do a teaspoon of black pepper and I'm going to do salt to taste so guys you want to add in some salt and once it's cooked you want to taste it and see if you want to add in some more salt and here we go so guys, this is a favorite in my family. We love to eat these nachos. They always come out really, really good because they're really, really cheesy. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cook our ground turkey meat until all of the pink is out of it. Make sure that is very important. <laughs> so here we go. I put our ground turkey into a bowl and I'm gonna start adding some cheese. So guys, for this recipe, I am using sharp shredded cheese. You can use any brand that you like. Just be very generous with the cheese. And you want to mix the cheese into the ground turkey meat. So from there, I'm using blue chips for this. You can use the other uh, tortilla chips, but the blue chips are really good. They're tasty. So we're going to use this blue chips. This is the brand that I use, but you can use any brand of blue chips that you like. And what I'm going to do now is layer this. Think of it as like making lasagna. We're going to add in one layer of blue chips and then we're going to add in our layer of turkey and cheese. So you want to make sure it is evenly proportioned all over your chips and then repeat the first steps. Guys, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So guys, we're going to keep layering this our nachos with these blue chips and what we want to do is just make sure that they are evenly distributed hit those corners and then after we make sure that we have chips in all covering all of our sections we want to add in that other layer of ground turkey and cheese that i was talking about earlier so guys we are going to repeat those first steps After this, we want to add in some additional cheese on top. This is where we're going to make sure everything is super cheesy. So when you're done, you should have some nachos that look like this. So we're going to put this in the oven and bake at 375 until our cheese is melted. So guys, we're going to get on to our guacamole. Can't have nachos without guacamole. So what you want to do is you want to get about three to four avocados and you want to just take a spoon and scoop out the avocados into a bowl so guys there are so many different ways to get the seeds out of this avocado i learned this hack on tiktok and basically the lady just took her fingers and pushed out the seed and it actually works so i would recommend that you try this out because it made the process so much easier than pulling out a knife and hacking the seed so just wanted to pass that tip along so now we're going to mash up our avocados and get them ready for our guacamole so you want to give them a good mashing and get them to the consistency that you like and then we're gonna add in our seasoning and our tomatoes and our lime. So guys, you wanna use one lime to start and you may need the second one, so have two on hand. You get one of those nice juice pressers, it makes your life a lot easier. You can get these things from the Dollar Tree. 
and you just put your lime in there and squeeze out the juice. You want to be careful about how much lime juice you put in it. You can make your guacamole actually uh, too kind of soggy. So you want to start with one lime just to be on the safe side. And if you need additional lime, you can add it in. After the lime, we're going to add in some seasoning just to give our guacamole some good taste. So we're gonna take our fresh vegetables that we chopped up earlier and add them to our avocados. That was the onion, garlic, and cilantro. And you just wanna give it a good portion and just throw that in there. It's gonna make it taste really tasty. So guys, we're gonna also add in our tomato. And this is why I didn't clean out the food processor after I used it the first time, because we wanted that onion, cilantro, and garlic to mix in with the tomato. You're gonna add in some sea salt, I would say about a teaspoon or two. And this you will add in as you go because you may need more salt. You'll notice after you mix everything up and taste it if you need to add more salt. Now we're gonna add in some onion powder and some garlic powder. You can do a teaspoon to a tablespoon of that depending on your taste. Also I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon of black pepper. So guys, here are our nachos straight out the oven. Look at those nachos. Don't they look really, really good? So it's all the cheese has melted. We're gonna plate this up so you can see the whole thing. Here are our nachos with our guacamole on top. Guys, this is a really tasty dish. It is quick to make and I'm sure your family is going to love it. You gotta try this out. So guys, Thank you again for joining us for another video. You know, I love that you stopped by. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up in the comment section. Subscribe, hit that bell notification. We upload new videos weekly. See you then. Bye.